the Windows Experience Index assesses key system components on a scale from 1.0 to 7.9. As you can see, on this assessment, all of the system components scored a 7.0 or higher except for the primary hard disk, which scored a very low 5.9. I'm going to show you how to improve this score as well as overall system performance with a few simple upgrades. First of all, we need to remove the power sources like the power cable and the battery. And next, we need to remove this large rectangular panel in order to access the hard disk drive and RAM. This particular model comes with a Intel quad core i7 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a spinning hard disk drive. In order to upgrade the RAM, we need to remove these sticks of RAM that originally came in with the system. To do that, all we need to do is release the, the clamps that are holding the RAM in place so that they can be easy to remove. While replacing these is not going to improve the score of the RAM, it will improve overall system performance. I'm going to accomplish this by installing 16 gigabytes of RAM into the system. To do this, I went with Ballistic Sport Sticks, which I will be installing next. The RAM comes with a small gap near the bottom, which allows for proper installation. You cannot install these backwards, as they will not fit. To make the installation, you need to insert the RAM sticks in at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Go all the way in and then push down on the RAM until they lie flat. Notice how I have installed these symmetrically. This is good for the computer. Once you have the RAM installed, all of the clamps should be locked into place and everything should be seated perfectly. If the clamps are not locked, then the RAM is not installed properly. In this installation, I have installed a total of 24 gigabytes of RAM. It is not necessary to have this much RAM, so you can install less if you like. The next upgrade we are going to do is install a 2.5 inch solid state drive in place of the spinning hard disk drive. Before making this installation, you need to clone your hard disk drive so that the operating system and programs are installed on the solid state drive. Then you'll be ready for your installation. In this case, everything is a perfect fit, and now we just need to close everything up and test the system.
in running a reassessment, our primary our primary hard disk score has improved to a top score of 7.9. That is a significant difference. Our overall score has improved also. But not only has our scores improved, the overall performance of the computer has improved as well. Thank you for watching this video.